Hello and welcome to Jessica Pilates. This is your home to get fit, toned, and flexible unicorns. If you are here, it is day 11 of my Fit Love 14 Day Challenge. If you've been tuning in before, you can always check the playlist I have set up and you might also want to hit the blog. I am starting each of the workouts with a little bit of self-love motivation, self care motivation and each day I start with a quote. Today's workout will be a cardio routine with sliders. The quote for today is your smile lights up the room. And I'm not saying this in a way where a dude on the street is just like, mommy you look better. But it really is the truth. If you walk around all gloomy and gooey, you are going to attract gloomy and gooey and your thoughts will just get gloomier and doomier. If you walk around with a smile, even on the days it's hard, and you may have noticed I'm a pretty cheerful persona I'm over on Instagram and here, and it's not that I'm always in a cheerful mood, it's just that I know that if I act happy and act cheerful and try not to dwell on the things that are making me miserable, I just feel better and I tend to attract better vibes people. Whenever I've walked around with a puss on my face and not feeling so confident and just kind of dwelling on the things that I can't control, I always seem to attract other people who are like that too and that's just not how I want to live my life. So when you're outside, go ahead and smile even if people don't return it to you. I live in New York where people think I am crazy for smiling at them. I still do it anyway because that's who I am and that's how I want to be. So you really have to put your happiness in your own hands. Of course, if you're facing serious depression issues, you should see some money about that. But if you're just in a slump, maybe try adjusting your ends of your lips to go up and see if maybe the rest of your attitude will follow suit. So I am on my Moxie Pilates mat today because with the sliders, it is just a little bit easier to not be on such a big mat. I am using my skills slides that I got about four years ago and they are still working. We're going to start today and if you don't have sliders, just grab paper plates with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips and let's go ahead and round your spine and arch it. Cat cow. Right? Arms are straight, knees are right underneath. Inhaling and exhale. Right? My horn and my tail reach away and then my horn and my tail bring it. A few more like that. Inhale. And then exhaling. Now come out to neutral and see if you can slide a hand forward, back, slide the other hand forward, and back. And if we want to make this a little bit harder, I'm going to have us come into more of a plank position and more of a kneeling plank position. Really draw your belly muscles in, reach one hand forward, then the other. The idea is not to shift in your hips too much. I think I just did. You can play around with your hand position. We'll go for four, three, two, one. And now I'm gonna have us come up into a full plank, reach, and you can stay on the knees if you need to. Let's go for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna bring my feet forward now and I am going to bring my butt right to the edge. Hopefully I'm not going to be smacking anything into a wall and I'm going to stabilize my heels onto the gliders and I'm going to sit really tall. Let's just do a round and an arch here and now we're going to be stabilizing the gliders meaning I don't want them to move that much. If they're sliding around you've got to really press into them and then from here, reach the hands forward, slowly round the back, come up. You can always put one hand or both hands onto your thigh somewhere to make that a little bit easier. Exhaling back, inhaling up. Now exhale back, hold it. Can you lift a leg, lower, 
lift a leg, lower. Keeping the chest really lifted. Last four, three, two. Now hold one up. Stretch and bend it, stretch and bend it, stretch and bend it. Now hold it straight, press down into that foot. We'll do a few Rolex. You can always bend this knee. Four more, back, up, back, up, back, up. Bring it in, reset, take the other leg up, stretch and bend. Inhaling and exhaling. Just one more, then hold it straight. Press down into that opposite leg and roll it back. And I'll try to keep that leg still. Hold it, bend that knee, press the foot down, and let's just lift up all the way here. Breathe in, exhale. I want you to roll back. Stabilize those gliders. Come up. So if you're coming all the way back, it'll be a little more challenging than if you're just going halfway back, right? So you go halfway back. If you need to modify, if not, then you're doing these with me. And then finally, maybe doing this with straight legs, keeping the stability in those feet and those hips, lifting tall and back. Up, add it back, and let's come on up and stretch to your toes. And I'm going to stand up, slide these to the side, and I'm going to bring my mat out all the way. I'm going to do these facing this way. I'm going to slide this past just in case I'm off the camera at all. I think I'm on there. And I only need one of these weights and you can and one of these gliders and you can actually opt to use weights. Let me just make sure I'm back a little bit more. So the foot that's on the and these mimic reformer moves. The foot that's on the mat that is going to be the stabilizing leg and then this leg we're really going to keep this leg straight with the heel hop. Bend your front leg. The deeper you go, the harder these get. You can take your arms up. You can hold the weight. And really, really use that back leg to stabilize. We go a little faster. Down, up, down, up. We'll go for eight more. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe it out. Keeping the crown of my head and my unicorn horn high for these. And then I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna pulse on my front knee to a scissor arm. And keep going. Keep that front foot, that heel down, back heel is up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Now, tilt forward, bring your chest towards your thigh, keep this knee bent. We're gonna go into our lunge crunches. Bring it in. And reach. So now my horn is on a diagonal. And back. Back. You can add weight. Back. 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 Give me four. Three. Two. Now hold it. I'll sit back. Back. Keep your core engaged. Keep your spine neutral. Hips are facing your front foot. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Bring that leg in, turn it right around so we can go right into that other side. Adjust your stance so everything is parallel, back heel high. We get down into a lunge, left. Exhale, lower, inhale, left. Now try to keep the crown of your head up, try to keep your horns up. I need you such a good job. And we're gonna go faster, raising the arms. Down, up, bend your front leg, extend it. Back leg stays long. Five more. Inhaling, exhaling. Remember, the deeper you go, the more challenging these get. Your only competition is you. And don't forget, smile. Two more. And then we're gonna pulse, right? So one more. Hold it now, pulse on that front leg. 
Flip the arms, breathe. Keep the crown and your horn up. Fast eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Now tilt your body forward, bend it in, out. In, out, in, out. Keep my belly muscles and I'm really opening up through my chest. Three, two, 
and one. I'm gonna bring it in for a second and drop down uh, to my form just because I don't want to totally kill our wrist and that means my wrist. Two elbows are gonna stack right underneath our shoulders and then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees come in, I'm gonna round my back here. Inhale, exhale. Now back onto my forearms. This time, reach one leg, then the other. Keeping my body as stable as I can, keeping my abs pulled up. And then maybe pull, 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 pull. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, bring them on in. Now I'm gonna flip the mat around just a little bit so I stay on camera here. I'm gonna keep it folded in half and I'm gonna lay back on it with my butt towards the edge and my feet right in the hole of the onto the gliders. Ooh, I'm sweating a little bit. I don't know about you guys. And I'm gonna take my head down, stabilize, bridge up, shoulder blades on the mat, not my neck, and then roll down. Lift and lower down. And lift, lower. Now hold it up there on my heels, reaching one leg, pulling it in. And in, reach, and reach, and now maybe pull. These are hard. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it there. Spin it out for time. Nine. Keep going to five. Three. Keep your head stable. Four, three, two. One, reach those arms out, take your hands up, roll on up, touch your toes. We're gonna end with some hip flexor lunges. I'm trying to keep these workouts short and sweet. It's really not easy. I tend to go into 30 minute workouts really easily. So mat comes down and I'm gonna slide this knee back for a big stretch. And you can bring it in and out a few times and then even go into a split, in, split, in, and maybe hold that split, big stretch, come back in, and maybe you can grab on to your unicorn hoof back there. From there, I am going to come back out, bring the other knee down and flip it around, and I'm gonna slide that back and in a few times. Keeping my belly pulled in. And then maybe take it in, into a split. And now you can always do another round of these. Saturdays of this challenge will be live here on YouTube. It will be my, hopefully by the time this comes up, this will be my second live because this is day 11, and maybe take a hold of that foot. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this in March of 2020, make sure you enter the Cat Challenge giveaway. You can find details about that on the blog, and I will see you on the flip. Thank you so much.